I'm Jeff Chorish at DEMA 2008 for Advanced Diver Magazine and ReviewTheWorld.com, and we're talking with Kevin Gurr from VR Technologies. Kevin, thanks for talking to us today. No and the Sentinel Rebreather has been out for how long now? Uh, just about a year now. Anything new? Yeah. Uh, no, the design's stable. We haven't really issued any new stuff. The one thing that we will be doing early next year is we'll be integrating the extender canisters into the The extender canisters so people yeah, can use right. a solid uh, scrubber instead of granules. granules. And what are you using now for a scrubber? What are people using now for a scrubber? Um, just a standard 797 soft awesome. line. Take me through this. There's some interesting features about this that make mm. it somewhat unique for rebreathers. Tell me a little bit about that. Well, it's obviously a back-mounted unit, a back-mounted counter-lung unit. Most units you see around are over-shoulder counter-lungs. So you've pretty much got a standard harness on the front. As you can see, it's very clean. Um, you have an integrated bailout mouthpiece. The electronics provide you with a head-up display, a primary display, a rear-facing display, and then there's a completely separate backup PO2 display as well, which you can run. And this is a new design? Uh, no, not at all. Again, it's uh, been out for the last year or so. We've always used the same stuff. And you, you, this, you had this at DEMA last year? Yeah, we did, yeah. Okay. yeah. Um, and uh, you may have mentioned this, but the, the, one of the unique po uh, parts of this is there's a single counter lung. Is that Just correct? Just correct, in the back, yeah. And why did you choose to go with a single counter lung? I, I don't, does anyone else do that at all? I mean, I think you're, that's uh, kind of unique. Isn't some it? of the military units do it, but other than that, no, only us. And why did you choose to and do that? There's reasons why we do it, which I'd rather not talk about. But, <laughs> <laughs> Trade secrets? It, yeah, it improves certain elements of the system. So, What are you hearing from divers about that? Uh, well, we obviously, we're still back ordered on sales, so that's a good sign. Uh, generally speaking, people seem to like the unit. It's easy to put together. It's low maintenance, uh, but we've got a lot of ex you know we have a lot of extreme divers using it as well as complete new rebreather divers. So it's so this can take a diver from essentially uh, training into sure. into uh, uh, advanced technical diving, cave yeah. diving, things of that nature. Sure, absolutely. Yeah, great. Uh, Kevin, thanks again for talking with us. We've been talking to Kevin Gurr from VR Technologies. I'm Jeff Torres for ReadTheWorld.com and Advanced Diver Magazine.